Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style or your budget, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's project, which is a luxurious silk button down. So in my opinion, everyone deserves some silk in their life and there's no more classic silk garment than a button down. They are timeless and oh so chic and depending on your personal style, can be made in a variety of ways. There's ruffles, big collars, small collars, pussy bows, oversized, short sleeve, and tons more. After all, the concept is nothing new, so every year designers are trying to put a new take on the traditional. For my ready to wear inspo, I went with the classic traditional button down with a twist, which is my go-to design aesthetic, basic with a twist. So let's take a look at what I found. All right, so here is our inspiration. It is this $330 Reese um, Haley Petite Silk shirt in the color teal, but they obviously have tons of other colors. Um, let's take a look at the front, my bad on that. Um, okay, so I know I said basics with a twist, and it is, but it is a, a basic with a baby twist. Um, the baby, there's two elements of this that I really, really love. One is the um concealed buttons that they have here i think that that's just really clean and chic looking and then i also loved the cuffs because they kind of reminded me a little bit of a tuxedo and since we're dressing for the holidays having that kind of detail might give a nod to a special event even if you're just wearing them tucked into jeans okay so choose the haley shirt cut from smooth silk for a sensual feel and luxurious look designed in a relaxed shape okay that's important that accentuates the natural fluidity of the fabrication it's then punctuated by a concealed full button placket and statement oversized cuffs box pleat to reverse and silk fa fabrication this is the box pleat um let me get it in a better colorway so that we can see that detail better so there's the box pleat there's a yoke and then a little box pleat there so here is a place I found called Pure Silks. Gotta have everything we're looking for here, right? This is a silk satin, which is the kind that has that kind of sheen to it. And we are looking for silk satin fabric, 100%. Here it is for $20 a yard, I believe. This one is only 44 inches wide, though. And I don't like... They, I can't see the color very well on the screen. So let's find another one. Okay, here's silk satin, $22 a yard. Are we really not gonna get any more pictures than this? Boy, oh boy. Satin is a method of weaving fabric. Satin has a shine to the fabric that's created during the weaving process. The process is achieved by floating the warp threads above the other fibers to create the shiny and seamless smooth surface of the fabric. So this is mulberry silk. Uh, dry clean only extremely smooth and glossy on one side and matte on the reverse either side can be used so that is that what else do we have again i wish they put all the colors on one this is a really pretty color something different for the holidays um this is more like the champagne type of color that i think looks really chic and elegant especially for like a monochromatic outfit you could do it with like a cream colored pant and that would look super super elegant but yeah, they do. They have this in a ton of colors, as you can see. As for the pattern, didn't mean to bury the lead there, but as for the pattern, I chose the Nomi pattern from Beauté J'adore. Now, this one is an oversized button front shirt. It does have drop shoulder sleeves, breast pocket, double layer cuffs with back buttons and pleats, patch pocket front oh we're not, we're not doing the jeans let's not worry about the jeans the line drawings of this look like this okay our shirt is not drop shoulder at all but looking at this pattern again this is the one that has the oversized cuffs you can see the double cuff and it's oversized other than that though not a lot about this matches so as a another plan an alternate plan you could def first of all you could definitely make 
this out of silk and it would be beautiful and awesome and it's fine. If you wanted something that was a little bit more tailored, like our inspiration, but then had those elements to it, here we go. This is just your basic, basic button down, okay? So we've got all the elements of our inspiration version, okay? We've got the pointed collar, we've got the box pleat in the back. Um, this is not at all oversized, so you're gonna wanna size up just one. You would get this look, and then you would just have to and make some alterations to the button placket and the larger cuff. What you all you need to do for this cuff most likely is just shorten the sleeve and increase how long this is by like i mean our version she it's got to be let's look at this it's got to be what two or three inches so um but i don't hate this version as the silk shirt just as it is you know what i mean I think that would be really cool too. It would be drapey, it would be oversized, it would be cool. A little more casual this way. Um, some other ways to wear them would be, wow, that's a really close up of the beautiful collars, my goodness. Um, here it is untucked with a pair of just like kind of slouchy pants. Um, I don't know much more about the pants than that, but you get the idea, slouchy pants. Here is another one with some uh, pleated pants. So that's kind of fun. A little more businessy maybe because the pants are kind of like suiting. They're in jeans again. Here it is tucked into a accordion pleated skirt with a blazer, but with or without. So that kind of dresses it up just a little bit. That's appropriate for a family thing, um, a work thing. You could wear that lots of places. Here is some more pants. These might be a little bit tailored. Again, hard to tell. Um, these are like little pencil pants, tucked into pencil pants. What do we think about that with a little sandal? And then again, tucked into some really fun trousers. This is probably how I would wear them. High-waisted, fun trousers. Maybe not this exact color combo, but something along those lines. At the end of the day, it's just another blouse and shouldn't be reserved for just something special, but it also definitely fits into whatever holiday event you have coming up. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this button down sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a capelet. Ooh la la. I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow for more 30 days of festive fashion. Until then, happy sewing. Bye.